don't say this lightly, but nice work out there, Eddie. I hope you'll feel welcome amongst the Midnight Suns. Uh, what do you mean, feel welcome? What have I been doing this whole time? You've been a probationary member. Now you're a trusted ally. Yeah, we're just taking, um... When I left off, I left us in a position ready to just jump right into wow, the great. Morbius. Should I prepare a speech for the ceremony? And, and when do I get my badge? There is no ceremony. And yeah. we don't have and badges. I'm just laughing at Ed and getting caretaker. Oh, well, so... Is it cool if I design a badge for the team? I'm sure I can find you some markers and construction eh, paper. Wait, is that saying? Yeah, I was thinking more like clay, <laughs> you know, so Tony can make a mold. I had some ideas. Maybe I can run them by you later. I knew I'd regret this. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Uh, yeah, I left us off in a position where we could just jump right into the Morbius missions. So, here we go. Getting reports from all five boroughs. More Hydra troopers with fangs. Talk about making a bad thing worse. I've tried tracking down what they're up to. Find anything? Nothing that could still speak. I may know somebody who could help. No offense. This isn't exactly friendly neighborhood stuff. Not sure your contacts will be much help. He's not that friendly. Who? He's also not one of the bad guys. Who exactly? A physician of sorts. Look, do you want to figure this out or not? Never seen a vampire feed on another vampire. I felt it. One time. I bit you one time. It wasn't fun for me either. You taste like an old barbell. <sighs> There's a cat fight joke in here somewhere, but I can't figure it out. Look, Dr. Morbius, we need your help. Someone is turning Hydra troopers into vampires. We don't know why or what they want. According to the creature I just ate, they're after my research. I can tarry no longer. I must return to my lab before the... You're going nowhere. Don't have a hissy fit. It was right in front of me. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. So, where is this lab? You get used to the stench. I never do. Wait, where... You were right, Doc. We shouldn't have tarried. I see you've located the doctor. I hope he's feeling cooperative. I think we're all on the same page here. Common enemy, the greater good. Everyone gets it, right? Of course. We'll see.
No one is to blame but yourself. You're just lucky I'm not ready to feed. This won't do. Hardly worthy of being classified as vampires. Not that I'm overly protective of the title. That didn't stop you from feeding on them. You know as well as I do, Blade. Your thirst, my hunger. We can only fight it for so long. Some of us have tried harder than others. Oh, you think I haven't tried to end this? I think you don't mind that you failed. Teach me that one. They were expecting such resistance.
all my work. Lost. I said he was not one of the bad guys. Knowledge has no inherent morality. This is science. Tell it to them. They'll be fine. Eventually. What exactly are you doing here, Dr. Morbius? Research. A gamma serum flows through the blood of these Hydra soldiers, augmenting their capabilities. It inspired me to concoct a prototype sample, a serum of my own. I thought it might dampen the effects of the sunlight on my abilities, but its protective qualities were far more effective than I expected. Whoa, are we talking- Daywalker in a file. Morbius, tell me it doesn't work. Not yet. The prototype sample needs time to fully mature, but it's gone along with all my notes. I'll have to start over. Looks like they're back for seconds. Nah, they have the sample. They want to take out the only competition in town. Then we shall dissuade them. Just give up now. all the time for like decades
I'm up for another round, I suppose. I knew you couldn't be trusted, Morbius. Hydra or not, this is wrong. The work Hydra has done with gamma injections was too profound to ignore. Has he been using them as some kind of escape? As opposed to the gentle treatment you and your friends give them. Big difference. some of them from the front lines in the process, I don't see the harm. Heroes usually stand against human experimentation and false imprisonment. Because it's, you know, evil. Rarely have I ever been accused of being a hero. But your words are my top story. I don't think you've changed at all, Morbius. You're just lucky I'm working with the Suns again. As opposed to what? Me leaving you here with your experiments. Permanently. Maybe we can all You know, you're pretty good at this. It's up to me. That's one hell of a move. Get much better than that. No further abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey? Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may, there are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, we could probably use his help. This once. Hunter, was it? 
Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. You surprised me earlier, and I do not like surprises. But any friend of Peter is a friend of mine. I am relieved to hear it. You have a wonderful home, and a great many resources. I look forward to making use of them. Uh, how do you think you will help? I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? <laughs> In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put vampires back together. Oh, of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. You will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? I would like to feast. What? <laughs> Only kidding. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. I want to know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. I have heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that, unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this possible? Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare, degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were... side effects. You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, 
and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Any ghosts today, girl? I will see if I can find you a treat later. Doctor, meet the doctor. You know, the Abbey has as many PhDs as you find on your average golf course. We've met. Dr. Morbius, so good to see you again. Dr. Strange, still patrolling the spiritual realm, I see. I'd love to get sent up as quickly as possible in here. Tony, what is your impression of Morbius? Well, we've never actually met, but Strange talks highly of him. I am uncomfortable inviting a vampire to live in the Abbey. Hey, I know what you mean. Half the people on my board of directors are vampires. Not literal bloodsuckers, but they definitely try to sink their teeth into you. Or your pocketbook. Maybe. The guy's a freak, no doubt. But every genius is. You should have seen half my professors back at MIT. Or that Tony Stark guy who's always in the news. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've read a few of Morbius's papers on DNA manipulation, and it's years ahead of anyone else. He could be a valuable asset. So, you think we can trust him? Well, I never said that. But he could be useful. Steven, have you worked with Morbius before? Oh, yes. He is a formidable ally. He once assisted me in a battle against a Fear Lord from the Dream Dimension. Fear Lords are powerful foes. Yes, it was a boisterous battle, so I was pleased to have Morbius at my side. Undoubtedly, he will be a favorable ally against Lilith as well. So you have no reservations about letting him stay in the Abbey? None at all. As long as he doesn't grow too hungry, we'll all be fine. Wait, what should we do if he gets hungry? We should all be on guard. Steven, I need details. As with any vampire, he could lose control and eat every one of us, but I do not think that will happen. Checking in on me already, Hunter. I haven't had time to get into trouble. You can never be sure. I suppose. What can I do for you? Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Yes? Never mind. I will let you settle in. Fix that. Happy to talk any time. 
It could be nice to have another scientist in the forge. We aren't running a home for wayward vampires, Hunter. I hope you know what you're doing. So Blade trusts Morbius? A vampire? Huh. Where are the flying pigs? Huh. I thought this place had already filled its quota for brooding weirdos. Thanks for giving Morbius a shot, Hunter. I hope I didn't abuse your trust. Getting to know Blade has been nice. Maybe Morbius won't be so bad. You are the best girl. You know that, right? The Midnight Suns seem to attract people with complicated histories. Huh. Maybe Morbius belongs here. As long Sorry we didn't give you a heads up before. You know, about bringing a vampire into the Abbey. It all happened kind of fast. Are you sure we can trust Morbius? Yeah. Morbius has his demons, but he's a teddy bear. A snarly teddy bear. With fangs. But there's stuffing in there, somewhere. This is not helping your argument. What I'm trying to say is that Morbius has a good heart. And exceptionally good blood. Good blood? Yeah. Whatever Morbius did to transform his body infused the heme in his blood with curative properties. I'd love to help him study it further, if I ever have the time. Since we're fighting new breed vampires, we'd do well to have a living vampire in our corner. Blade, are you actually comfortable with Morbius living here? Comfortable? I'll never be comfortable around that monster. But if I'm being generous, he could be useful. If this was a mistake, let me know. We will do whatever you think is best. Hey, I don't want that responsibility. If this goes south, I'm not taking the blame. What exactly is your history with Morbius? I don't like getting into that. But the two of you have fought before. What makes you think we can trust him now? I never said we could trust him. If that man loses control to his bloodthirst, I'll end him myself. But the vampires are using his experiments against us. We need him to clean up his own mess. So Morbius is just a tool to you? Call it whatever you want. I call it practical. Anything else on your mind? Why are Hydra soldiers willingly turning into vampires? Willing. Define willingly. I think that's mm. Sin's influence. They must be extremely devoted to agree to such a change. Or more terrified of what Sin will do if they don't. I wonder how becoming a bloodsucker mixes with the Gamma Serum already in their systems. I bet that's one hell of a hangover. What do we know about the Lord of Vampires? Honestly, if Blade didn't vouch for it, I wouldn't believe he existed. He certainly does. There's so much information about Dracula that it's hard to know what's fact and fiction. I wonder if he had a hand in that. What happens if Hydra successfully replicates Morbius's prototype sample? Sunproof vampires seem like a bad idea for all involved. Maybe not for the vampires. For now, it's just a scary theory. Even if it works, there could be side effects, like... New breed vampires bursting into flame upon contact with oxygen. Yeah, wishful thinking, but prototypes can be unpredictable. Just to ask Hank Pym about Ultron. Thanks, Carol. Sure thing. Alright, with that. Blade 
warned me about Morbius, but I trust your judgment on this, Hunter. Still yapping. How goes it, Hunter? Or is it the Hunter? Feeling good today, girl. Let's converse, if you wish. Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? Sure, we'll do that for you. Peace. I usually just wing it out there. Awesome, uh, thanks, Hunter. Right then. Max, I think that's everything. Do a quick mission, get ready for the next day. I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. Ready and try to find an artifact. Hunter, hello. Do with Eddie and Brock or Eddie and Morbius. Your time has come! This is a serious predicament for me. Self could not best me. What makes you think you will fare any better? This shall be of great help. Yes, 
take me. You should never have come here. Swimming. Not that I expect you to panic, but you're going to have to deal with that one now, on top of everything else. truck is about to move out. You're running out of time. You need a moment here. About to get messy! Ah! That shield of yours will make a fine trophy. I think I will give it to the captain. Captain. 
just like old The artifacts are secure, but why don't you teach Hydra a lesson while you're there? It's time! Turn the favor. Oh. Awesome. Lilith must be desperate if these are her best. Done it. Excellent work. Heads up, Hunter. What shall we chat about?
Newport used to be a lot nicer. Now wait, I'm thinking of Philly. Stop for a day. Yeah, just we get started. Now when I come back, I'll sleep, do the daytime missions, or daytime stuff, <clears throat> and go from there. Do the next uh, story missions. I just probably all only three, so see where I get to. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff it means a lot, I, and I really do appreciate it. Till next time, love you guys. Hope to see you again soon. Take care. And as a side note, when you come back, I'm changing all the fucking... I don't like the Midnight Suns legendary costume. I think they're just...